Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will start with next model. That is connecting rod of a SI engine. Before starting, if you have not seen my previous Camry models, then click on the i at the top. And please subscribe to my channel to support. So let's begin. So let us start with part number one that is connecting rod. So here in sheet we can see that connecting rod has 10 parts and first part itself is connecting rod made up of duramine. So we have three drawings which show the connecting rod. So we have, let me zoom into that part. So here we have the three drawings that is side view, top view and the front view. So in this drawing, first we have to make only this much of part that is this diameter and this from here this much of profile we have to design. So carefully look at all the dimensions and it is better to keep the drawing with you while you are designing. So the height will be 80 mm which can be seen here that is 60 plus 10 here and 10 at the top. So total from top to bottom it is 80 mm. So here we can see that there is an inclined line but there is a, there, we don't have any angle or the length. So we have to draw a simple inclined line and then make it tangent into the circle. So let us start designing. Follow the steps which I have followed. Draw the rough profile. And at a distance, draw a line up to the mid plane. And we know that it has it is total length is 24, so here we have to give 12 mm. distance will be from plane it will be 53.5 that is 52 plus 1.5 and here distance between this and this is 1.5 the circle should be 48 and this length should be distance between here to here it should be half of 80 that is 40 mm and this length should be 12 mm and from here we have to draw a straight line of length 32 mm and from that tip we have to draw a circle of radius 32 mm Now go to smart dimension and just lock the diameter 64 mm. Now go to tangent option, select the line and select the circle. Now the line and the circle are in tangential relation. So now we have to connect this tip to the circle. So go to connect option, select the tip of the line and now select the circle. So line and the circle are now connected. Tangential. Here we see that the circle has risen up. So here also do the same connect line and the circle so here we have the profile now let us trim the unnecessary lines using trim option go to trim remove the unnecessary lines now we have to copy the copy this half profile to the other side in order to complete the profile 
So using mirror, select all these lines. Control and select the lines. Now leave the control and select the mid plane. So we have the profile mirror to the other side. So now we have to remove the unnecessary parts using trim. Go to trim option, remove this part of circle. So now we have the profile which needs to be protruded. So click on return. The width of protrusion is given as 20 mm. Symmetric. So let us check the drawing. Here we can see that protrusion should be 20 mm. Now enter the value 20 mm. Now click on finish. Let me hide the sketch. Now here we have to draw the, the here we can see there is the extension. So which is nothing but which is shown here in the side view or front view. Here we can see that there is a 3mm and a curve of radius 29mm. So let us draw that. Since uh, selecting this plane will produce a plane which is at an angle, it's difficult to draw. So let me insert a plane parallel to the front plane at a distance of 10 mm because we have given the protrusion of 20 mm on either side. So one side it will be 10 mm. So give the parallel plane at a, at a distance of 10 mm. And now draw the profile on the plane which we have inserted. That is the parallel plane which we have inserted now. Draw the profile. So just follow the steps which I have been following.
once you have, uh, here we can see there is a gap so let me fill that using extend to next so once we are done with the rough profile we have already dimensioned okay now let me go to drawing here we can see that in the, the front view we have here 30 t 33 mm from one side to other and here we have already given 20 mm so remaining is 13 so so one side it will be half of 13 that is 6.5 mm so let us go to protrusion and give the half of the value that is 6.5 mm go to click on return go to protrusion select the profile ok and now enter the value 6.5 mm now let, uh, let us just simply mirror this protrusion to the other side so for that go to mirror from the list select protrusion and here top select smart and then click on OK and select the plane that is the front plane so we have the component mirror so we will be using this mirror option many times in this part let me hide the sketches Next we have to produce a hole here the thread length is not given but the dimension is shown in the front, lay front figure as M10 and the deep 15mm two holes of M10 to the depth of 15mm at a distance of 10mm from the tip so let us let me draw that Go to solid edge so click on the whole option and select this surface now go to whole table click on threaded and here select m10 And here we can see there is no thread length given so let me uh, give the length of the hole as 15 mm and let me assume the thread thread length as 13 mm so let me type here Okay, let me assume it as 13 mm and now place the hole at the center of the line and uh, here it is given that the distance from hole center to the bottom it is 10 mm that is the radius 10 it has given so go to smart dimension select the hole and select this edge give the dimension as 10 mm so we have to produce this curve cut off so let us draw that so from the center before that let me complete the hole now go to sketch select this surface and draw the profile which needs to be cut out
once we are done with the rough profile let us trim out the unnecessary parts so let us click on return select the cutout option select cutout select the profile click on ok and just drag it back click on finish now in drawing we can see here that here there is a hole of diameter 2.5 which is a through hole the dimension given that it is 11 mm away from the surface so click on sketch select the plane which we have just inserted that is plane 5 or you can also select the front plane Let it be a simple hole and enter the diameter here as 2.5 Then place the hole Now go to smart dimension Select the hole and the plane This distance should be 30 mm because it has to be at the center of the hole which we have produced just before and This distance should be 11 mm Click on return, just drag it to the other side. So, we, but here we can see that it is not completely through. So, you can do a, one thing that you can either copy this or you can uh, create a circular cutout. So, just let me copy this. Go to mirror. Oh, okay uh, better we'll do it as a through hole so click on through all so click on ok so we can see that we have a through hole now. so let me hide all the sketches and now we have to copy this part on to the upper side so using mirror copy and selecting the top lane we have to make a copy uh, before that let me create this hole that is a diameter 3 mm hole at an angle of 30 degree later we will copy all the parts so for that click on the front plane go to sketch and here select the front plane and from center draw a line at an angle of 30 degree downwards click on angle between and make the angle 30 degree Now here we are using revolved cutout so for that uh, draw the rough profile of the region to be cut out. So let me make this uh, axis line or construction line zoom in and draw the rough profile which needs to be cut out.
Once we are done with the profile, go to click on return and go to revolt cutout, select the profile, click on ok and now select the axis, enter 360 degree. Now click on finish, now we have to, so here we can see that we have created the hole now we have to mirror everything to be on the upside so first let me hide all the sketches go to mirror go to mirror option from the list select all the features now here select smart then click on ok so now we have all the feature mirror we are done with the front part let us go move to the rear end so here we have to draw this uh, circular structure in order to create this circular structure we have to create the structure which is shown in the top view that is here so here we have to create three lines and then we have to create something a kind of a triangular surface and it is at a distance 150 from this face so from the plane it will be at 151 point so from center draw a line of length 151.5 let me hide the plane 5 so from here draw a line of 151.5 and at the end of this line draw the profile similar to the profile which I have been drawing now
once you are done with the rough profile so here this line is the center so we have to create a circular so click on return go to revolve protrusion select this profile and click on ok and select this line as axis of rotation and enter 360 degree now click on finish so once we are done with that we have to create the eye section from here to here which will vary from 24 mm length to 20 mm length so for that uh, but from top view we see that it is uniform so let us first draw the profile which is shown here on the face of the body which we have created the first so let me select this surface and let me draw the profile on this face so for that let me use the line view and let me first produce the rough profile It is important that we have to make all the lines symmetric about both vertical and horizontal axis in order to prevent distortion. So let us do that.
here we have to first dimension the main parts and then we have to use the symmetric option. Okay, now we are done with the rough profile. Here we see that the total length from top to the bottom it is 24 mm. So let us give that value. So from top to bottom it should be 24 mm. Go to smart dimension. Select the top here. use the distance between and here enter 24 mm once we have done that let us just copy this profile once so go to se select entire profile and use control C now click on return Now we have to insert a plane at this point here. So that is at a distance of 151.5 minus half of 26 that is 13. So 151.5 minus 36. So click on return go to parallel planes. Select this plane and insert a plane at a distance 151 that is 150 here 1.5 and minus 13 151.5 minus 13 Once we are done with inserting the plane, we have to copy the profile which we have sorry we have to paste the profile which we have copied. Select the plane and paste it here. So control V. So we can see that the profile has been pasted. So let me correct the distance of plane to 151.5 minus 13. Go to edit definition and here type 151.5 minus 13. Previously I have used 150. So here let me correct it 151.5 minus 13.
and here again you have to dimension all the profiles or uh, and entire lines of the profile and again you have to use the symmetric option and then you have to make this length as 20 mm because it is shown in the drawing that this edge it is 20 mm so click on return here we are using lofted protrusion which will be found in revolve protrusion option select this profile and select this profile we have to select the corresponding points on each profile here we can see that there is a notice which says that this profile is this protrusion is not possible because we can see that from here to here it can be produced but after that there is a zero thickness so for that reason we have to create one more profile which should be inside the circular circle which we have created previously so let me create that for that we have to insert a plane We have to paste the profile on this plane also. Select the plane and Ctrl V to paste the profile. Let me select this profile that is the 20mm one which I just edited now and then click on return and select plane 7 go to selection option sketch and select plane 7 and now click on control v click on control v so here there is no need need of editing the dimensions so let it be like that only and now click on return go to lofted protrusion and select the corresponding same points on each of the profiles now click on preview and click on finish let us view the solid view so now we have to create a circular cutout in order to remove the extra protruded part, part here. So go to sketch, select this surface and draw a circle and create a cutout. Later go to tool material, save the material for the connecting rod that is dural, dural mean and then go to file properties enter all the data which is required and then just save the file please like this video and subscribe to my channel see you guys in next video thank you for watching
Thank you.